Hi guys, I don't know about you, but I have things that go round and round in my brain that I just can't shake. And one of the things that's been going around in my head recently is the importance of undo. I know I'm sad, those are the kinds of things that go round in my head. And the importance of undo when it comes to our digital channels and the things that we're doing online. And, and I don't just mean like the undo button you have in applications, but the opportunities that we provide users to undo whatever they've just done. Because actually it's really important for users. It reassures them, it's like a safety net. That, uh, the ability to undo that last action, that last thing that they've done is incredibly reassuring. And if we want people to take action on our websites, if we're trying to encourage uh, clicks, we're trying to encourage people to sign up for stuff, to buy stuff, all of that kind of stuff, we need to reassure them. We need them to feel safe. So undo is really important. And undo comes in all kinds of formats. And so often we stop users from being able to undo stuff. Take, for example, the most basic undo function that's built in, baked into the very nature of the web, and that's the back button. The back button in the browser, right? That allows people to undo their last action, to go back to where they previously were. But so often these days, you get web apps where that basic functionality of the web is broken. The back button doesn't do what you expect it to do. But there are other examples of this as well. So for example, um, you might go to a website and you're you know, going through a checkout process or filling in a form or something like that, and uh, you make a mistake, right? You've done something wrong, but you've moved on to the next screen, the next part of that checkout process or, or form process or whatever. So you hit that back button and yeah, sure, that back button works. It takes you back to the previous screen but all your data's gone. Everything that you entered on that previous screen has gone away. Those things matter. It's a frustration. Those are the points where a user goes, oh, sod it, I'll do it another time. And then they never come back. Undo matters. And then the final example, which is maybe a little bit of a bigger example, is once people complete that call to action, right? Once they've signed up for your mailing list, once they've signed up uh, to, to, you know, purchase your product, can they undo then? Is returns really easy on your e-commerce site? Or do they have to ring up, you know, your company and get a return number and pay postage both ways and that kind of stuff? The undo of a bad decision at that stage can be huge. There could be restocking fees and problems like that. And then what about people that sign up for your mailing list? How easy is it for them to unsubscribe? Are you trapping them in? Are you desperately holding them? If people can't undo at that stage, then you're gonna start facing a whole nother set of problems. Problems like buyer's remorse, where people regret the decision they made because they can't easily undo it. And what happens when people have buyer's remorse? Well, they post negative things about you online. They, you know, um, ring your customer support, which costs you money and all of that kind of thing. So really the ability to undo whatever it is people are doing is absolutely critical. And you need to be thinking about that. Every interface element that you create on your website, how easy is it for people to undo it?